In 2016, while serving in the Ukrainian security services in the Luhansk region, Taras Timoshuk came under militant fire and was injured. A bullet had pierced his lung. After returning home and having gone through rehabilitation, Taras decided to take up his favorite childhood sport once more. He joined the Ukrainian security services football team for this year's Super Cup of Ukrainian's Football League for veterans of the war in Donbass. It was really difficult to start training after my injury, but I did everything I could to get back into good shape and to start seeing results. Our team trained every week. In 2016, the security services football team played their way to victory in the Ukrainian Football League for veterans of the war in Donbass. Now, they're gearing up for a match with the winners of 2017, the Ukrainian Armed Forces Presidential Regiment team. To help the war veterans prepare, the coach for Kiev's professional football club, Dynamo, has led their training sessions. These are all contract soldiers. These are people who are in the Donbass. I have no problems with them whatsoever. These are soldiers. They're not professional players who could cheat and so on. They're like children. Cheering the football players on were the veterans' family members and brothers in arms. I don't really follow football, but my dad is playing today. He's really trying and he loves it. He always trains on the weekends. In the first half of the game, the presidential regiment team scored twice. After the 15-minute interval, the security services team increased their offense and ended up scoring once. That proved not to be enough, and the game ended in the presidential regiment team's favor with a score of 3-1. to one. Come on, They have a strong team, too. They gave us a pretty good match. I'm not saying that we were better. I think we played on even ground. It's just that we noticed and adjusted to our mistakes during the game, and they did not. Another friendly game was played between the veterans of the war, Donbass team, and former professional Dynamo players. The professionals won with a score of 3-0. to zero. <laughs> President of the Football Federation for Veterans of the War in Donbass says that the league is one of the largest projects to promote rehabilitation among soldiers. As of today, we have about 1,500 war veterans who have joined our program. This project has been running for four years now, and from March 31st to October 14th, we hold competitions and training sessions in 38 cities across Ukraine. The players for the Presidential Regiment team won the first Super Cup for veterans of the war in Donbass. Now they will begin training for more matches in their league and prepare for international football competitions for veterans.